Hey everybody, welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. I am your host, Nicole Simonin, and today we're going to be talking about weight training. Now, don't be scared if you are a woman. Don't be scared if you're a woman over or around 40. Uh, I promise this is going to be a very helpful podcast for you. Are you afraid of lifting heavy weights? So let me clarify by what I mean by weight training. So weight training can be a multitude of things. What I don't want you to think it is, is I'm not talking about you flipping tires. I am not talking about you deadlifting the weight of a small car. I am not talking about weight training to the point where you are beating yourself up. You do need to be more aware of your body as you get older and you need to probably have a little bit more recovery time. You need to ramp up a little slower, cool down a little longer, all those things. So, but weight training in the simplest form is lifting something heavier than you did yesterday. Women are generally scared. So when women come to me, a lot of them are lifting like two and three pound dumbbells, sometimes five pound. Like they think that five pound is like the tipping point. Like if they go beyond five pound dumbbells, they're just going to turn into this huge person. The funny thing is, is it's really, really hard to actually gain a lot of muscle mass. There are different body types and different structures and that determines how much muscle you put on and how fast you put on muscle. But generally speaking, it is really hard to look really muscular. Like your food needs to be totally on point. Your workouts need to be really dialed in. And sometimes, not everybody, but sometimes those people who do look those that muscular, they're probably doing stuff that maybe they shouldn't do in the long run for their body. To each his own. But it's really hard to really bulk and gain a lot of muscle. So keep that in mind. You don't need to be a traditional bodybuilder to benefit from strength training. Um, but I do suggest that you start lifting heavier weights. You do want to start at a weight where you're comfortable and you're not going to get injured, but don't think five pounds is your end range. Like I like to think, you know, depending on the exercise, I think 20 pounds, uh, talking dumbbell wise is a pretty good range for a woman to manage throughout the progression of her workouts and her training and her program. This is again why I always stress it's so important to have someone who knows what they're doing, an expert in the field, and can design a program for you that takes you from where you are now to where you want to be at the end. There's a lot less guessing. There's a lot less, um, you know, you kind of throwing spaghetti against the wall and seeing if it sticks type thing. So if you start weight training correctly, you are going to wind up more than likely looking like a woman who is lean and toned. Again, there are other components to this, but generally speaking, you're not going to beef up into some Amazon looking huge woman, anything like that. But it is dependent on a couple factors. So some of the aspects you want to be aware of is where you, are you currently? So what is your body at right now? What is, what does it look like? How much body fat you have? What, you know, what do you weigh? What size are you? How um, physically fit are you? Those factors all play in. The other thing which I mentioned earlier is what is your body structure? So there are different body types and I will do a podcast on that at an additional time, but basically it's um, you're an endomorph, an ectomorph, or a mesomorph. And depending on what your body structure will determine from an expert's point of view, how you approach your food, how you approach your weight training program. Another factor is, is how often do you want to weight train? If you go bodybuilding style, that's a big time commitment. And I don't know if most women, I know the women that come to me, they don't necessarily want to be spending, you know, three hours a day in the gym. So it's got to fit into your lifestyle because if you're not going to do it long term, like it's not about just getting to the look and then stopping. You have to get to the look and then have a lifestyle after that that keeps you in that look that you want. Um, the other factor is, is your nutrition. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know no foods are off limits in my book. 
but there is a structure there's guidelines that you need to follow again depending on what your end result what you want to really look like and what you want to see at the end of your fitness journey or where you want to maintain your life at is probably a better way to put it if anybody's a will and grace fan way early will and grace um i love this one episode that they had and the essence is is that um, if you go to the show notes, I will put the video link in there so you can watch it. But it's not my video; it's someone else's. But <laughs> the gist is is that Grace is kind of stalking this personal trainer and this lady who has hired the trainer, and they're working out. And Grace is in the background hiding and doing all the exercises that this lady is doing that the trainer is giving her because she doesn't. Grace doesn't want to pay the trainer, and. <laughs> So what happens is at the end, spoiler alert, um, she basically says something to the trainer, like the trainer catches her and then the trainer, she goes to the trainer like, why, um, your, your program basically stinks. My butt's getting bigger and you know, my boobs are getting smaller or something like that. And, um, and the trainer's like, well, that's what the lady who hired me, that's what she wanted, a bigger butt and smaller chest. So. It's very humorous. If you like Will and Grace, I just thought it was hysterical because um, it, it just goes back to the point there. You can't, like getting a customized program is going to help you so much better. Like poor Grace wasted all her time stalking this trainer because she didn't want to pay him. <laughs> and she wound up getting the opposite results of what she really wanted. So I'll leave that clip in the show notes if you want to check it out. All right, so here is what weight training can do for you. So number one, it's gonna increase the strength of your bones. Um, there's something called Wolf's Law. So if you stress the bone, your bone gets stronger and builds more. So it increases the strength of the bones, your muscles and your connective tissues, bones and ligaments. This will also help decrease injury. You will also be able to increase your muscle mass. And this is very important as we age because we lose muscle each year. It's usually because we've become more inactive. So the more active you stay as you get older, the more your muscle mass is going to increase. Another bonus for gaining muscle and keeping lean muscle is muscle is very metabolic. So the more muscle you have, the more calories you're gonna burn sitting here listening to this podcast. So when you have more muscle, you get to eat more. That's the long, the short story. The last thing is, is you get an improved quality of life because when you're stronger, those daily activities like carrying groceries in and lifting household items, being able to vacuum, those kind of things, they get so much easier when you're stronger and um, you have more muscle on you. So you do not need to start off with a hundred pound barbells. Just start off small, work your way up. As long as you're challenging your muscles, you're increasing your strength. This also goes for body weight exercises too, so don't negate those as well. The key points are try to get out of those five pound dumbbells, increase your poundage as you go, and you will get stronger, you will feel better, and you will also be smaller if you're doing it right because muscle takes up less space than body fat. So that's why a lot of times when you start weightlifting or weight training, the scale number might go up but your inches are going down. That is an awesome thing. That means you're gaining muscle. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope this podcast was valuable and helpful to you. And if you want to dive deeper into your fitness journey and really learn the skills that you need to lose the weight for the very last time, head over to shapeitupfitness.com and grab your get started consult today. All right, that's all for me today. And I will talk to you soon. 